Hey guys, welcome back. So, big update today, right? As you guys all know, the dupe system has been released. And uh, this is probably like one of the biggest updates since the game first came out. And as promised in my previous video, this one is gonna be about Rodos. I think Rodos is a champion that everyone knows, right? He used to be a fusion. And uh, I, rem I remember some content creator was suggesting people not to do it because they think this champion is not good. And uh, then it turns out that this champion was too overpowered and Flareon just did a very very big nerf to this champion. <laughs> and now here, we're, here we are, I think he is good right now, definitely above average, one of the top tier arena champion. Um, I think everybody already knows about his skill. A1 is decreased defense and chance for extra turn. A2 is he will leech enemies HP and add it to his own HP and do a lot of damage. A3 is doing damage, ignore defense, ignore unkillable and block damage. And before the nerf, if the enemy was killed by this skill, they were instantly block revived. It was super OP. And his passive is a single hit damage will not exceed 50% of this champion's max HP. And uh, I did a very interesting test uh, about Rodos with Romantu. Like, I just released a Romantu yes uh, video yesterday. The funny thing is, if Romantu puts a buff, a, a debuff on Rodos, on a team with Rodos and Sifi, like, they have a passive which Rodos will remove every debuff. But if, if Romantu puts block passive skill cooldown, on a CP Rodos team, Rodos is not going to remove that passive, uh, remove that debuff because his passive was blocked. So it's quite interesting, right? All right, so right now let me show you guys the gear. Are you guys ready? Like promised in my previous video, this is gonna be the world's strongest Rodos because on my account, I have six Rodos and I have empowered my first Rodos to plus four. So here we are. Rodos plus 4. I did a lot of gear tuning today. Um, maybe someone already noticed on my Discord, but this is not the same build. I added a lot more HP into this Rodos build. Alright, so let's see. Rodos plus 4. High HP, 45,000 and 6.8 thousand attack, and 224 speed, 325 crit damage. Like in the current meta, because nobody uses New King Hegema anymore, you are not going to rely on his passive. You have to build Rodos with speed. Otherwise, he's never going to get a turn. So, uh, a lot of speed, obviously. And uh, for the accessories, for the ring, I really don't have a good HP ring. Uh, if you guys don't know, you, you should build Rodos with HP, and, uh, HP ring and banner to get the most value out of him because all his skills are actually scaled off of attack and HP and uh, HP worth a lot more compared to attack but his base HP is super low that's why HP percentage gear is not gonna go with very well on him but flat HP is actually really good on Rodos so that's an interesting fact that's why like this uh, this ring is actually not that good because like I said HP percentage is not so good but like the main stat flat HP is very good so that's the way you should gear your Rodos and uh, like pretty much 5 out of 6 gear pieces from this Rodos was previously on my Tronda okay I will show you guys my current Tronda build in a second definitely my Tronda will not be the world's strongest one so the mastery is, pr is pretty much the same as the old Rodos. Alright, so I will show you guys how this Rodos will destroy everyone in Arena. Of course, pair with Sifi, okay? And uh, let me show you guys my current Tronda. Obviously, I took every piece off of her and gear my Tronda as a, as a new one. So this is my new Savage Tronda. I think it's still okay, but it's probably not going to make to world's top 20 list, okay? Because <laughs> like, at least I'm playing Arena today, I haven't used her yet. All I'm doing is using Rodos and destroy everyone. So, 
Alright, without further ado, let's get into Arena. Alright, let's see. Um, obviously, I'm in Platinum Arena at rank 4. Like, this is the defense I put up today. And uh, I think I'm getting a lot of wins. Right, just two losses. And my attack log, I haven't lost a single one. Alright, so let's see if there are any tough teams. Alright, Maga, this is a very tough fight. And let me show you guys my team setup. So, alright, not this one. It's gonna look like this. Hold on. Kaimar and the Hedgemon. This is gonna be my team setup. And I can pretty much use this team against any defense in this game, okay? Let's go into the fight and show you guys how this works. Alright, so. Obviously, I have Hedgemon. I'm gonna go first. So, what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to 8 1 his Kaimar. And he goes first. Alright, that's actually a mistake. I shouldn't A1 his Kaimar. I should A1 C Fi instead. But it doesn't matter. Alright, so let me A3 the C Fi. <laughs> Not strong enough. Not strong enough. Like, <laughs> I target wrong champion at the beginning, but it should be fine. Alright, so. Alright, my Rodos almost died. Can I get a turn? Alright, my Rodos get a turn. Let me just finish his Sifi. Reset. And uh, let me just put them to sleep. Like, this is the most broken A1 in the game. Let's see if I can one-shot this Krisk here. Boom. Look at this damage. Do you guys see how thick that shield was? It was just broken all of a sudden. Alright, so it could definitely be a lot faster. And uh, let's see. Alright, uh, Kamikaze, this plus 4 Warlord. Let me show you guys how I destroy this guy. He has a Hegemon. I also have a Hegemon, so I'm gonna use... Alright, I can actually just A2 here. Doesn't matter. Then I just put his Waller to sleep. Alright, then what happens is I'm going to one shot his Duchess here. Boom, just like this. You see how that how thick that HP bar was? And it was all gone all of a sudden. HP bar depleted. Boom. Second shot. Alright. Weak hit. Come on, just finish the fight here. Like building a s building Rodos with speed in the current meta is very, very important. You cannot just build Rodos with crazy attack and no speed at all. It's not gonna work in the current meta. Just get me out of here. Alright, a little bit less than one minute. Let's see. Alright, this guy, another tough defense for everybody. Pretty much for everyone. And let me show you guys how to do it. Alright. My Hegemon is around 280-290 speed. So I consider my Hegemon pretty fast. And uh, let me just A1 C Fi. Alright, that's also an A1 Hegemon. Uh, I can just put someone to sleep. But it seems like it's not necessary. This team is way too slow. Alright. I'm gonna one shot this Duchess easily. It should be an easy one shot. And uh, just one shot this Warlord. Like, I think this Rodos can one shot any Duchess in the game unless they are plus four. Okay? And because my clan member Infinite did a test, if there's a plus four ta uh, Duchess, with super tanky gear, and if the Helm Smasher procs, I can still finish the Duchess. If it doesn't proc, the Duchess will live. Alright, this annoying Swift Parry just get me out of here. Like, there's just no way to lose a fight. It might take a little bit over 1 minute sometimes, but it's just no way that I will lose a fight with this team set up. I'm just gonna pick some tougher teams. 
All right, let's try this candy phone team. I don't know how fast is this guy. So his CF is his fastest champion. I'm just gonna A1 his CF and uh, just put this CF to sleep. Oh, this counter attack. Oh no, that's not good. Extra turn. No, 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 that's not right. Let me try again. I actually, I feel like I shouldn't use, uh, I shouldn't use a Kaimar here because they don't really have a Warlord, right? So let me, let me just use Arbiter here. Let me use Arbiter, go like this. And uh, this A1. Let me do the A2. Alright, so I'm gonna. My Rolos is going to A, uh, A3, the CV. Should be a clean one shot. Look at the damage. Should be a one shot as well. Even with the defense up, it's just super easy. Let's get Hegemon up. Alright. Let me try to kill Chris. Alright, I'm lucky here. I got an extra turn. Very lucky. Alright, so 53 seconds. Let's see any other. Alright, another Warlord team. So, back to old school strategy. Like this is the best arena offense team set up in the current meta. So let's just uh, A1 Warlord. Alright, he put my skilled cooldown, doesn't matter. As long as my CV can use A1, that's gonna be good enough. So remove. My Karma has like 220 accuracy. So not that good. But this team has super low resistance, that's, that's a good thing. Now it's just a matter of time. And do this. Kaimar is gonna reset. Marillo's gonna nuke again. Look at this damage. Alright, 40 seconds. Like, usually, when I go against the Hegemon team, I st I'm still able to go first because um, my Hegemon is pretty fast, like 280 speed. So, like, like this, right? It's just, uh,. Use Arbiter. Do this. Alright, let's just. Oh, it's actually risky because uh, he's trying to resist in my sleep. Like, super easy against these teams. Alright, actually, let me try to find a Warlord team and show you guys how this team will work against a Warlord defense. So, let me refresh again. Alright, let's try this Hegemon Warlord team. I'm gonna let his Warlord to put my skill to cooldown and show you guys what happens. Let me just A1 Kaimar. Alright, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just show you guys how to go against a, a Warlord team. I will let him to put my skill to cooldown, okay? I will remove my Hegemon and uh, put a Brogni here. Like, I probably will never going to use my Duchess because my Demon Spawn Faction Guardian is only 4 out of 10. That's quite a surprise. Just put my skill to cooldown. Dude. What's wrong with this dude? <laughs> he didn't even prioritize the A3. Alright, so I guess I'll just have to finish this. Like, with, if this Rodos has attack up, he can kill anybody. It doesn't matter you're plus one or plus four duchess. 
attack up is actually huge. Look at this damage, over 200k. Alright, then let's try this team here. All of them are plus 2. So, uh, let's see what happens. Can I go first? Alright, I can still go first. He's not that fast, I guess. Uh, Alright, just uh, I will let his warlord to put my skill to cooldown. See? Then I'm gonna reset. No! <laughs> How come I died? Alright, his duchess should be dead. And his CV should also be dead. Oh, I can't target his CV. Damn. Alright, another extra turn. No extra turn. Uh, let me revive Brogni. Because Kaimar has done his job. Which is um, reset cooldown. He has done it. Boost. Extra turn. Should, that should, should be dead again. And uh, let's target Sifi. Uh, almost. I guess Helm's Marshal didn't proc. Let's do this. Alright, extra turn. It should be over, I guess. Just one versus three. Like, I know this team is not the fastest in the world, but at least it's very consistent, okay? And I don't really need a Brogni here. Like, I don't know if anyone in Palm Arena has a plus four Duchess yet. If anyone does, I really want to test it. I think the Strollos can still one shot a plus four Duchess. Okay, so about two minutes. Alright, guys, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, Sifi and Rolos after this patch is pretty much the answer to the arena. This is the meta breaker. No matter what type of defense you put, I will be able to one shot one of your enemy, one of your champions, right? So, I know it's really tough to get 5 Rodos, right? But at least this is a fusion champion. And hopefully if you play long enough, you did not skip this fusion. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. And uh, and let me show you guys like how many... Like, this is the only plus 4 champion on my account. And look at all these plus 3s. I have a plus 3 uh, Fusha and Foley. And uh, I'm just one level away from max empowerment and I can actually just use life token to exchange it. Make, maybe I will make a video about it and uh, yeah overall like empowerment feature I think this is pretty much for whale only <laughs> or for arena player if you're not arena player just don't use it and uh, oh before ending the video there's a couple things I want to show you guys all right so I want to show you guys some of the world's strongest champion build from my discord okay because the dual system was just released today a lot of people start to plus four their champion so this one is a plus four tronda this is from my clan leader infinite this like look at this attack and crit damage and uh but the thing is this is an immunity tronda right i haven't yet seen a plus four savage tronda if you have one definitely send me i want to take a look and uh, this is world's strongest Rodos. Obviously, this is mine. I just showcased in this video. Uh, I haven't updated the Warlord page yet. All right, all right. This is huge. World's strongest Prince Kaimar. Okay, like this is pretty much ridiculously strong. I know you guys maybe cannot understand this test. Um, this is a plus four Kaimar. Look at these numbers: plus two hundred forty-three speed and plus 754 accuracy. This is definitely the strongest Kaimo in the game. I don't think anyone else in the world have a stronger one. Okay, so then uh, let me show you guys another one. This is world's strongest Solace, world's strongest defensive nuker, possibly the strongest nuker ever. Look at this defense, plus 5.7 thousand and over 200 speed and plus 275% crit damage. 
and maintaining a very good accuracy because Solus can land some very good debuffs. Like this is the most perfectly built nuker I've ever seen. And then the world's fastest champion. Like this is definitely the fastest immunity arbiter I've ever seen. This is an immunity set, and this is 367 speed. And uh, all right, that's. Just showing you guys some interesting stuff from my Discord server, and if you guys have some really strong champion build that you think might be the world's strongest champion build, definitely send me a screenshot. And if it's not plus four, just don't even bother, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, I think that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.